I want you to understand something. We will always defy in doctrine and understanding of things because we are all individuals. We won't see everything eye to eye and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But not everyone will look and know your calling. Sometimes God will use somebody from a far place. Sometimes he will not even use a believer to point you out that the hand of God is on you. Look at Joseph. He's with his brothers and his brothers don't recognize God's hand on him. They see him as an enemy. But Potiphar, his slave master says, God's hand is upon him. Amen. May your friends be those who will know that God's hand is on you. Amen. Amen. Because that is the friend that will fight for you, yes. even when you're wrong. Listen to me. A friend should fight for you even in your error. Yeah. Not because they are agreeing with your mistake. Yes, that's good, Not because they are agreeing with your mistake. But you don't defend somebody because they are good. Yeah. Jesus is our advocate. Jesus is, is the one that stands before the Father for us. Not because we are good. He defends us because we are bad, but he is good. Yes. Amen. When you are a good friend, you show your goodness by defending those who are wrong. Yes. Amen. I don't know if you're understanding what I'm saying. If somebody misses it, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Anyone can make a mistake. It's fine. But you show your genuine love. You know, there is a love that people claim they have for God. I love God so much. I love God so much. But if you're quick... To crucify your brother or your sister because of their mistake. You don't love God. Because God came from heaven as a human being and he saw people who are bad and defended them. Jesus saw a woman was brought a woman before him. And I taught this the other day. And the woman was a prostitute. They said we caught her in the very act. According to the law of Moses, we should stone her to death. What do you say? Jesus said, I'm not disagreeing with Moses, but if you have never seen the stone her, notice what they tried to do was to use the word of God to kill. But anyone that has the spirit of God does not kill. You give life. Amen. That is what the Bible says. The letter killeth, but the spirit. When you have the spirit of God, you don't interpret scripture to kill. You use scripture, even though it is condemning a person. The Spirit of God will give you a loophole on how you can rescue that soul. Amen. God is not in the business of destroying people. The Lord is in the business of redeeming people. Thank you family for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I believe you've learned from this video. Uh, so a true friend, who is a true friend? Uh, the Bible said in the book of Proverbs, there is a friend that's ticket even closer and very closer than even a brother okay so uh prophet lovey ellis in the submission was talking about a true friend who is a true friend a true friend is the one that would defend you even though you are wrong not that he's supporting your wrong that wrong thing you do but he will defend you to support you against other people attacking you but he will come later to rebuke you in the closet not in the public a good friend doesn't rebook in the public and he gave the scenario of the of jesus and the woman caught in the act of adultery where her, her persecutor were using the scriptures to quote according to the law of moses she need to be put to death but jesus christ being himself also switch and also use uh, the scripture to defend the lady by saying that if any one of them who is without a sin to cast out the first stone? That is what the work of Jesus Christ. He came to defend us, even though we were wrong in sin. He came to save us, and that is how a friend reacts. And that is why Jesus Christ also said, "A good friend lay his life for his friends. A good friend lay his life for his friends." So God bless you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.